Well, it could be the most controversial issue voters will decide on this November. Issue three, in today's rant rave, Toledo's mayor weighs in. We have heard a lot about Issue 3, the Ohio Jobs and Growth Plan. Media has been airing ads both for and against a casino being built in Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus, and yes, Toledo. If a casino is built in Toledo, it will bring jobs, additional new tax revenue, revenue for Lucas County Schools, and help to stimulate the businesses in our area. If Issue 3 is passed, 34,000 new jobs will be created, 19,000 construction jobs, and 15,000 permanent jobs. Of those jobs, nearly 4,000 will be in Toledo and Lucas County. The construction of the $250 million casino along the banks of the Maumee River in East Toledo will bring $302 million in immediate economic impact to help jumpstart the Toledo and Lucas County economy. Furthermore, 51% of the tax on gross ca casino revenue is distributed among all counties in proportion to population. This means Lucas County will get $12,794,000, and because Toledo has a population over 80,000, the city will get half of the county's distribution. In addition, Toledo is a host city, which means we get an additional 5% of the revenue generated from the casino, which will result in $4.9 million annually. Lucas County School Districts will benefit by $8.7 million with the passage of Issue 3. Toledo Public Schools will receive $3.3 million. The casino will also help to stimulate the local businesses in our area. The casino will set its food and beverage prices at comparable to Toledo restaurant prices so as not to undercut our local businesses. The casino will also buy blocks of hotel motel rooms in the existing community rather than building a hotel on the site. They have also pledged that they will offer a shuttle service to the future Marina District in East Toledo. Help to keep jobs and money in Ohio and Toledo. Vote yes on issue three. I'm Cardi Finkbeiner, and that's my rant. Remember, you can catch Rant and Rave every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Fox Toledo News, first at four. And as always, these opinions do not reflect Fox Toledo or its employees. 